feeling so amazing these blades by my side it makes me feel sane i just love it when it rains i feel so amazing and i feel people around me are going nuts but at times i'm just a psycho about to go nuts i can't control my emotions that's why i love to have this blade by my side i'm about to lash out and go out of control at times i can be in a rage like a woman that came out of the cage i know Welcome to One I Love Jane. I'm your host, and today I have Alice Turner on my show. She's actually a model, and she's been modeling for quite some time. So what actually got you into modeling? Hi! Um, I've been modeling for about two years. I started off on social media. I reached out to a bunch of different groups and everything, and got a hold of a bunch of cool people, and widened out my connection. Um, right now, I'm into a lot of traveling type of modeling. I've been going to a lot of tourist places, doing public modeling. I do a lot of like artistic nudes and messy shots, very creative and artistic in the best of my ability. Um, lately, I've been working on doing more of a implied look or a more type of artistic look. I have been doing a lot with like wax play. I've been doing like dressing up at, with antlers and different costumes and stuff. I have been using paint um, this summer. I am hoping to start branching out into like mountains and the mud and everything so I can do more earthly content. Yeah, I like how you said that because um, uh, you remind me of me when I was uh, an artist years ago, but now more of a writer. I was like, oh, she's doing it all. <laughs> um, I stopped drawing um, because I've been writing for a lot of years now. And it's like, uh, and my friend thinks I should go back into it. I said, no, that's too time consuming. Um, so, um, uh, do you have a project that you're doing now? Um, right now, I am not doing anything. I just did a wax shoot a couple days ago. Um, and I also just did a shoot at Black Mesa down in Oklahoma. So that was pretty exciting. Um, once I move and I'm in North Carolina, my first shoot that would be coming up is going to be more of like a Viking waterfall type of thing, um, on top of a mountain actually. So I'm hoping to get like some cliff edges and some like daring photos and everything, get some implied shots in there. So I plan to do that soon or just later on the summer? Um, it's going to be the first week of April actually. Oh, okay. And um, also, to um, did someone inspire you to do this, to model? Um, yes, I have a friend. Her name is Abigail Amaro, and she is absolutely amazing. Um, we would go out to beaches and everything throughout all of high school, you know. And Grand Haven, I remember, plan as day, there was these women taking photos on the beach, and she stops them, and she goes, you should pop your hips like this. And she starts helping them with their camera and everything and the way they were glowing and their smile and seeing how real it was, it just made me want to be a part of that. You know, I wanted to feel that happy about myself and look at myself and, you know, not only feel great for me, but help others feel just as great. Okay. Um, I was curious if you actually use your own clothes or do you use other people's clothes? Um, it really depends on the photographer. I have a duffel bag the size of me packed with clothes. And then another duffel bag half that size that has like just fabrics and ropes. Um, so you could say I'm probably a very big obsessive buyer. <laughs> but uh, there are some photographers that do have their own wardrobe. So like I'll get there and they have a whole bedroom with a full mirror and a bathroom attached or something of the sort. And they'll have, like, a closet where they'll have, like, um, for example, Star Wars outfits, outfits for, like, construction workers. They'll have, like, aprons and stuff like that or, like, cool-looking socks. 
they'll have different types of like body suits and stuff in different sizes and whatnot depending on like what they like to specialize in so that's kind of like give and take of who you work with and what you're doing um be a cigarette a vape marijuana or anything of the sort i usually talk and communicate with them before i even come meet them in person just so i can be respectful um if they are not smokers then i do not smoke any time during the whole entire shoot not before it not after like daring it or anything i'll wait until after i leave just because i don't want to make anyone uncomfortable oh that's good and i'm a very bubbly person once i get in like the groove which is usually pretty easy (laughs) um so i'm not concerned for myself as long as they feel okay and they're comfortable then i'll be okay okay um and now um if we want to find you or anybody wanted to find you where can we find you on um, Facebook, Instagram, or where can we find um, you? If you go on Instagram at honey underscore cream 420, you should find me. And there is also my link for all of my other social media. Okay, great. Thanks for being out. One on one with Jane. Bye.
brave, so it leads me to be insane. <laughs> Most crave me as I crave the blade more. I'm not a whore, but most love me because I'm adored. Adore me now that I feel amazing. I feel on top of the world. Nothing stopping me now because I plan not to frown, but I can turn into a clown. <laughs> Adore me as I act this way and don't think looking at me it's faith i don't want you at all i just tease because i'm not easy to please hmm. while i have a ball with this blade don't look at me like it's faith now shower is amazing and this blade is just so i can feel at ease i'm throbbing each time i touch it just like your eyes that glare at my beauty it makes me feel high as a kite as others are trying to get by so don't fuck with me once more since I'm the badass one. I can make you want me more. Fuck what they think. Hm. I know most think that I'm their missing link. I hate how people think that they can mess with me. Stay away from me once more because I don't like what people when they mess with me. Hm. So don't fuck with me because I got the power with this blade, bitch. Without a shame, I will stab when I'm mad. So don't mess with me once more, since I'm the one most adored.